Well, this is, uh, this is truly a great day for the university, right? And I think uh, we are all extremely proud of the fact that NC State has been chosen, right, to, to lead an effort of this nature. Um, I, I think a, a key part of this is understanding that, as we often say, there's no such thing as an overnight success. And there's been so much work that has really gone on over the years to build up the capability and the expertise that allows NC State to really be the leader in an effort of this nature. A lot of the work of our faculty, particularly in areas like electrical and computer engineering, uh, that has really built up the area of power devices and has led into this wide band gap semiconductor area, is something that NC State has to feel very proud of because there was a time not that long ago where there weren't a lot of efforts like these in university environments. And we made the investments, we brought the people in, it led to the creation of centers and critical mass, it brought industry partners in to work with us, and it eventually led to the creation and, and grant that we have right now, which is a very large NSF engineering research center, uh, Freedom, which is the platform, quite honestly, upon which this effort has been built. So I, I think it's, it's, it's understanding that we're extremely proud of that, but we also understand that there was a significant effort that got us to this point to make us that unique, to make NC State that unique in the country, to make this area that we're in, with all the industry collaborators and the cluster that's behind this, so unique to where now we would be looked at as a clear definitive leader in a technology that's, that's so critical, really, for the advancement of, of, of energy and sustainability in our country. I think it's, it's very clear that uh, we understand uh, that there is a shifting in what we would call the sources of the portfolio associated with, with providing energy, right? And, and we also understand the need to balance, uh, you know, the needs that we have in energy with environmental concerns and others. So that clearly moves us into the clean energy environments, the renewable energy environments, and so on. In fact, our NSF Engineering Research Center is focused on the distribution and management, actually, of renewable energy type sources. So to be able to continue to advance in this arena, it's more than just a question of developing basic research. What this center is all about uh, that we're talking about today is really more than even the commercialization, eventually the manufacturing uh, capabilities that allow this country to truly take those major steps forward to shift its portfolio in a significant way so that renewables, clean energy types of sources become more and more a part of what we're working with every day. But the reality is that there is tremendous energy because of the people that are involved in this. At the same time, uh, their commitment in many ways, even though it's part of the research that they do or part of the efforts that they do, it's also quite selfless in the sense that they're motivated by this cause. There is a cause here associated with this. Converting these things into reality, converting ideas into reality, lies at the essence of what engineering is. So in that sense, it is really right in our sweet spot as well.